Newton and Leibniz first uncovered the mechanics of our natural world through the lens of calculus. Since then, mechanics has grown into a framework called dynamical systems theory that helps us understand changing phenomena throughout science and engineering. In dynamical systems, we study how states X vary over time. This could be temperature in the atmosphere, neurotransmitters in humans, chemicals in a reaction, or pressure on the wing of an insect. How states vary over time is determined by the dynamics, F, which defines the instantaneous rate of change of the states. Despite our centuries-long study of this field, applying dynamical systems theory to understand real-world systems remains difficult. Our work focuses on three key challenges, mathematical modeling, nonlinearity, and dimensionality. The first challenge is building an accurate model for the dynamics. In mechanical or electrical systems, we often use established first principles like Newton's second law, but these models come with numerous assumptions and hard to measure parameters. Beyond these causes for modeling inaccuracies, deriving these models demands significant expertise and effort from scientists and engineers. In fields like biology, neuroscience, and finance, there aren't well-established first principles that can be applied directly, making modeling even more challenging. The second challenge facing applied dynamical systems is nonlinearity, which makes the behavior harder to predict and analyze. For instance, let's say we want to answer questions like, what happens to the system as t goes to infinity? Is the system stable? If the system's dynamics are linear, these questions become easy to answer. In this example linear system, A is just a matrix of numbers. And because of this simple structure, we can directly find an equation for the states as a function of time. Beyond this, we can employ other basic analytical techniques to understand all of the details about the system's global behavior. For example, we can use the eigen decomposition of the matrix A to decompose the system into separate modes of dynamic behavior. This can be viewed as a new coordinate system or set of states that no longer depend on each other. These new coordinates or modes describe various frequencies of oscillations as well as growth and decay rates depending on their corresponding eigenvalues. So, they tell us about the global stability of the system. This is quite powerful in general because the same approach can be used independent of the matrix A. When the system dynamics are nonlinear, things become more complex. The dominant approach, pioneered by Poincaré, is to apply the linear techniques we just discussed to local regions in state space. This starts with applying a Taylor series expansion about some known structures or important points in the state space. However, to obtain these points is generally not clear and we only obtain insight into the dynamics locally. It also takes significant expertise and time on behalf of researchers to apply these techniques because the analysis depends on the system's behavior itself. Alexander Lyapunov developed a clever approach to globally analyze dynamical systems. Suppose we have a function of the states, v, that's always greater than or equal to zero or positive semi-definite, and the time rate of change of v is always less than or equal to zero, you can imagine this function as a storage or energy-like function that's always going down over time. If we can find a function for our system that has these properties, then the zero level set, or where v equals zero, is globally asymptotically stable. In other words, the states approach where v equals zero as time goes to infinity. For linear systems, it's easy to find this type of function, but for nonlinear systems, it's very difficult as there are no existing analytical techniques to aid us. We often think of our world as fundamentally nonlinear, complex, and challenging to understand. But what if we could apply the techniques of linear systems theory to understand nonlinear systems from a global perspective? Nearly 100 years ago, Bernard Koopman asked this same question. While exploring this idea, Koopman made a couple of key discoveries. The first is that global linearization of nonlinear dynamics is possible. In other words, through a change of coordinates, we can obtain exact linear models for nonlinear systems. However, 
The number of dimensions or states in these linear models that Koopman explored actually approached infinity, which poses numerous practical challenges. Inspired by Koopman, researchers have developed data-driven methods to find global linear approximations to nonlinear dynamics. But these models are often a poor fit to the underlying system due to issues with dimensionality. This brings us to the third challenge in applied dynamical systems, dimensionality. The challenges that dimensionality brings to nonlinear systems are multifold. First, many physical systems we measure can have numerous interacting states, making full order models that account for every detail hard to simulate or interpret. Reduced order models aim to simplify this by using fewer states while capturing the key behavior of a system. However, Creating these simplified models, especially from experimental data, remains a significant challenge. The second difficulty with dimensionality is more specific to data-driven linear models for nonlinear systems. These models often become high-dimensional, which can lead to overfitting. To make this clear, let's look at a specific example. In fact, this is one of the only cases where an exact finite linearization is known. Even though the system is only 2D with a simple nonlinearity, Understanding its stability is not straightforward. Now, let's consider a new linear system with the variables y1 and y2 that are a function of the original states. It's easy to show that this linear system is equivalent to the nonlinear system as we can reconstruct the original states from the new ones. This new system remains low dimensional and interpretable. If we frame this coordinate change as a learning problem, having more dimensions than necessary would introduce redundancy and risk overfitting. Moreover, if we take a closer look at the new variables y1 and y2, we see something very special. These new variables are eigenfunctions that have a special, simple relationship with their time rate of change. We can easily exploit this relationship to construct Lyapunov functions. By simply squaring y1 and y2, we can satisfy the first condition of a Lyapunov function. Then, we see that the second condition is automatically satisfied. Although this might seem like a toy example, if we can find low-dimensional linear embeddings like this for more complex and even unknown systems, we could effectively automate global analysis and scientific discovery for nonlinear systems. Our work tackles these challenges with a learning-based framework that can find a model directly from data. This method creates a globally linear model for nonlinear dynamics capable of making long-term predictions. The dimensionality of the new model is near to or sometimes lower than the original state dimension, offering a method for model order reduction. Additionally, the new coordinates have a mathematical structure that can be easily used to interpret the dynamics and exploit to find Lyapunov functions that automatically describe the behavior of the system. Our framework empowers non-experts with one cohesive, automatic method to model and analyze dynamical systems directly from data, unlocking new discoveries in science and engineering. Our framework uses time delay embedding in deep autoencoders with an information theoretic approach to select the time delay before training. The system's new coordinates, or latent states, are constrained to be linear using Koopman informed loss functions. Our approach achieves superior prediction generalization in lower dimensional latent spaces with an annealing strategy applied to various hyperparameters during training. We tested our framework across various scientific fields using both simulated and experimental nonlinear systems. These include a simulated single pendulum, a circuit with nonlinear resistance known as the Van der Poel oscillator, a model for action potentials in neurons called the Hodgkin-Huxley model, a high-dimensional atmospheric model called the Lorentz 96 system, a system with two nested limit cycles, a multistable oscillator for mechanical vibrations known as the Duffing oscillator, a multistable magnetic mass spring damper, an experimental magnetic pendulum where we automated data collection with a BLDC server motor and use repelling magnets to create bi-stability and impact-like nonlinearities. And lastly, we constructed a chaotic double pendulum and automatically collected with the BLDC servo in Vicon motion capture. We first tested our method on the single pendulum, and we observed that the loss was exceptionally low by simply adding one dimension, making the linear model 3D. This model achieved very accurate long horizon predictions, even when starting at large amplitudes.
To make our results more clear, our method automatically replaced this 2D nonlinear system with this 3D linear one. Beyond long horizon prediction, the new states also remain interpretable. Like a standard linear system, a latent linear model can be decomposed into eigenfunctions, each capturing different aspects of the dynamic behavior. The first two modes of the system were a complex conjugate pair with negative real part that encodes decaying oscillations at a fixed frequency. The third mode in the linear system represents pure decay over time. Like the example system, we can directly take the magnitude of these eigenfunctions and construct neurally Oppenau functions, or we can even examine the phase of oscillations. These functions show that all trajectories from the systems will be attracted to their minima. Lastly, we can verify that these Lyapunov functions decay over time with trajectories from the dataset. Now, let's consider some more complicated dynamics. Our approach also applies to systems with other types of attractors. Let's take a look at the results from the 2D Vanderpool oscillator, a model that exhibits self-sustained or limit cycle oscillations that continue forever. In previous work, the Vanderpool system has been modeled in dimensions that are typically an order of magnitude higher than the original state dimension. Our method produces a low-dimensional, 3D model that makes accurate predictions for extended horizons. In our discovered latent coordinates, the first two modes capture purely oscillatory dynamics, and the third mode corresponds to purely decaying dynamics. This time, however, the system doesn't decay toward a point like the single pendulum, but instead toward a larger set. When we plot the magnitude of the eigenfunction, this set is revealed automatically and simultaneously informs us about its stability. Our approach works with highly nonlinear limit cycles as well. The Hodgkin-Huxley model, which earned them both the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, has four states and extremely nonlinear dynamics that are shown here. The alpha and beta parameters are also nonlinear exponential functions of the voltage. Using this method, for the first time, we can reduce the dimensionality of the model while providing a global linearization. To make this more concrete, we can replace the original 4D nonlinear system with this 3D linear system and make accurate long horizon predictions. Like the Vanderpool oscillator, our method automatically learns the oscillatory part of the dynamics and the Lyapunov function that corresponds to the stable limit cycle. Again, we can verify this Lyapunov function using trajectories from the dataset. Lastly, Due to the complicated analytical form of the Hodgkin-Huxley equations, an analytical form for this Lyapunov function has yet to be produced. Our approach also scales to high-dimensional systems. The Lorentz 96 system in our dataset has 40 states, yet we're able to reduce the dimensionality of the system to 14 while simultaneously linearizing the dynamics. Like the previous systems, we can make accurate predictions of the full states over a long horizon and analyze the stability with neural Lyapunov functions. This worked for our system with two nested limit cycles as well, uncovering oscillatory eigenfunctions and Lyapunov functions. The scientific discoveries become even more interesting in systems with complicated stability behavior. Let's take a look at the 2D nonlinear system called the Duffing Equation. This system behaves like a particle rolling in a double well potential energy landscape, and the particle can come to rest in either well. Because this system has more complicated behavior, we need six latent states to describe it. This is still low dimensional compared to previous work. Like the other datasets, our method is able to make predictions over a long horizon and returns interpretable eigenfunctions. Unlike the previous systems, however, our model learns an additional static mode for the dynamics that reveals an intricate structure. 
This spiral pattern is called the basins of attraction, indicating which well the particle will settle into. We can verify the Lyapunov functions with trajectories from the dataset. We can extract the same structure from the much more nonlinear magnetic mass brig damper system while modeling its dynamics as a 6D linear system. This system has vastly asymmetric basins of attraction, making learning the dynamics a challenge. Notably, our method also works well when applied to noisy experimental data. The real magnetic pendulum system has more than one attractor and is strongly nonlinear due to the magnetic repulsion. We were able to make accurate long horizon predictions, extract Lyapunov functions, and discover the basins of attraction directly from experimental data. Chaotic systems, such as the experimental double pendulum, pose significant challenges for finite dimensional Koopman models because of their frequency characteristics. Due to this, we observe little correlation between the prediction error and the embedding dimension. While latent linear models may not perfectly match the spectral properties of chaotic systems, they still provide an interpretable and accurate framework for forecasting the future states. We found this to be true in the experimental double pendulum and the chaotic Lorentz 96 model. Overall, our work addresses three major challenges in applied dynamical systems, mathematical modeling, nonlinearity, and dimensionality. By leveraging Koopman operator theory, time delay embedding, deep learning, and annealing-based regularization, our approach offers significant improvements in prediction accuracy over long horizons, scientific discovery, and reduced order modeling of nonlinear systems. Ultimately, our framework provides an automated solution to the global modeling and understanding of nonlinear systems directly from data. Beyond these technical achievements, our work opens the door to a deeper understanding of complex systems that shape our world, from biological processes to climate dynamics. By simplifying the seemingly incomprehensible, we move one step closer to revealing the deep hidden structures in our natural world and unlocking insights across science and engineering. As we continue to refine these methods, the possibilities for automatic discovery grow, bringing us one step closer to answering some of the most profound questions in science.